up everyone, it's Dave Stone again with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills and today I'm taking the cutting from Maui and I'm going to plant it in my backyard. I'm going to I'm gonna basically start building a canopy like a Carrie and Mike's house that I showed you their canopy of moringas. I'm going to start the canopy off with a nice big cutting um, and then I'm going to plant some of the other native soil moringas in the canopy row. I'm also going to be planting this little moringa who's a, a PKM1 seed that I started growing a few months ago. It's doing really well, so I want to get it into the ground and see how it does. Um, I'm also going to be planting a few castor beans because they need to get into the ground as well, and uh, they're great microclimate builders. So I'm going to find some nice places for those as well. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'm going to get to work. I think I have the, the placement where I want to plant these. Um, it's going to kind of be a canopy that kind of wraps in. There's a power line right above me. And uh, the optimal place that I wanted to plant it is actually right under that line, but I, I don't want to do that. So um, I moved them back a little bit from the line and I had an old fire pit there. So I'm going to actually plant that one right in the pit. And then this one up on this hill right next to the mulch pile. And then I'm going to plant these other ones as castor beans and moringas in like a pathway like this. So it'll kind of canopy over a little pathway. And you can get to the greenhouse, you can get over here. It'll probably be pretty cool. So. Now, I'm gonna get to digging. Oh yeah, it's nice dirt because this was the berm. As we were digging that hole, this is just the berm of the loose dirt. So I actually have to get underneath this and dig into the compacted clay a little bit. Looks like I have some ashes under here. A whole layer of ash. Maybe this was a fire pit too. I like to dig square holes when I plant trees so they don't get root bound in a circle hole. The roots start to spiral, they'll hit an edge. Then they'll stop and they'll grow through it. Sometimes like a clay pot dirt can become like a clay pot and the roots will get root bound if you make them too, too perfectly circle. So I'm just going to get a big hole and mix it with most of this native dirt here. So it looks like it's got a lot of organic matter right here for some reason. That yeah, looks like a fire pit or something. I'm going to scar up the edges of the hole. Take axe. Oh yeah. This is part of the garden workout here. Throw, if you're going to throw the pickaxe, throw the pickaxe with good form. You know, just like you're in the CrossFit or in the gym, you'll get a better workout and uh, you don't have to pay for the gym membership. So good form with the pickaxe is keep your base underneath you just like you were squatting, but like in CrossFit, you throw the sledgehammer. So you keep your weight underneath you and you just come down, your back stays straight. All your power goes whoop, right in. You can do a really powerful hit it was a great workout. Good fast twitch. Okay. I loosened up some dirt. Now this is a pot that I had a, a moringa cutting in here. I already took it out and planted it. But if you notice, come over here for a second. I want to show you this. This is really good soil in here. Look at all these mushrooms. It means there was a lot of mycorrhiza in here. And this is really good soil. So I'm going to reuse an old pot. It's already mixed really nicely. And I'm going to take off all this mulch on top. Look at all that mulch, how it's breaking down in a pot. So I'm going to take all this mulch off and I'm going to dump there's one of the cuttings that died. And I'm gonna dump this into the hole. 
and I'm gonna mix it with the native soil. This is gonna inoculate it with good stuff. So part of the garden workout with a shovel, make sure you're not bending over too much like with your back, you know, get a good stance, kind of get some of the thighs working in there, kind of nice stance and then, you know, you can kind of dig and shovel with a purpose, keep your core tight, keep your core tight, you'll get a better workout while you're doing it. And you'll notice it after a couple weeks. You'll notice it in your abdominals. You want good abs? Plant trees. <laughs> so you see, this is a lot of native soil, but just giving it a little inoculation. Whew. Warm out. It's a nice day, but it's a good workout. fire does to clay oh yeah it's hard I'm in rock Dude, under the fire, it like made it like a pot. Yeah, it cured that clay. <laughs> the fire. A good workout. I got some water. Let's see how deep we got it. Probably pretty good. We do the same with this bucket.
Rocks and all. Rocks really aren't bad to bury in your holes as long as you still have a lot of soil in them because the rocks will actually hold moisture, soak it up under the ground, and it'll hold it for longer. So if you have a nice, a few little rocks in there, it's not necessarily a bad thing. So I don't really screen the dirt. All right, I got the two holes inoculated and dug. I'm gonna plant the two cuttings. This dirt is so hard without, rock, without uh, wood chips on top of it that uh, I'm gonna plant the other ones later. But I am gonna get these two planted right now so we can see the progress on how they do. So first I'm gonna grab the giant leaf moringa cutting and put it in this hole here. It was in the fire pit. Snapped off a branch, that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna put this right in the middle. Just gonna compact the soil around the trunk here. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna put the native dirt back on top of that and I'll give it a really good water and throw some mulch on it. It's gonna be a lot of ash too, so we'll see if this helps it or hurts it. Not sure. Test environment, test grounds. <laughs> call this campfire moringa this is gonna be my campfire moringa we'll see how it does if you plant a moringa in an old campfire see if it likes it or not moringa one in the ground all right so now we're gonna get this guy in the ground um, I'm gonna kind of dig out a little bit of this with my hand All right, pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna build a berm on this side. How much wood chips do you put on? Three times more than you think you need. So, it's a pretty good answer. I'm gonna wet this down, build, build a berm around the other one, and then uh, I'm done for the day. This is the uh, savasana, as they say in yoga, watering after the workout. See how long this holds water too, because we need it to kind of be able to well drain at least. But. See how long it takes to empty all the water out of the hole. I gotta say, it feels pretty good to uh, start getting my um, backyard microclimate built. 
my canopy built. And starting it with moringas, I'm very stoked about that. Uh, I will be planting some castor beans also, but I had a great garden workout today, so you should join me for your garden workout. Get some exercise, throw the pickaxe with good form, shovel with good form, and even while you're watering, flex that core. <laughs> Do something, you're watering, it's like a nice savasana but you can also flex the core. Mm. Throw some love off to the moringa you just planted. I love you. I do talk to my trees. I don't think it's crazy. <laughs> some people might. I think they can sense my love. They give me love, I'm gonna give them love back. So I'm gonna let this water go in, uh, just pour in here, and then now I'm gonna go bring some wood chips into this hole. Alright, this one's got a lot of water in it. So I'm going to see how long that one takes to drain. I can barely even see the trunk of this tree anymore. Gave it so many wood chips. But that's what you want to do. They will all settle down and provide a lot of good food for this tree. So now I give it another nice, real good soak, and then I'll fill that hole up with wood chips, and that'll be the day. Slow drainage on this one. It's coal-fired clay under there. <laughs> Your clay bottom pond under this hole. This one might not work. Feeling good, feeling good. Let's see if we have any okra. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a nice big one. I love okra. Nothing like fresh okra, but this is almost a size too big. I'm starting to feel the fiber. Hmm. So good, symmetrical. I'm gonna share with the cameraman. Mm. Growing your own garden. The way of the future. Thanks again for tuning in guys. If you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up and share this video with the world because I want everybody to know that they can plant moringas directly from cuttings, they can plant them from seeds, they can plant them from seedlings, saplings, however they want to plant them. But you need to go to the I Want More Moringa Facebook group and join if you haven't already and post pictures of your moringas. If you need some seeds or something, you can email me. So email me at developawesomeskills at gmail.com and uh, I can get you some seeds. Right now I'm selling the PKM1 seeds. It's not that expensive, but they did cost me a little bit of money. But all the seeds that I get for free, I will be giving away. So you're gonna have to either come down to Stonehaven, pick up some seeds, or send me your address, and then I'll, I'll, I'll charge you a shipping. And I think shipping's only a few bucks. So um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, keep developing awesome skills by planting more trees, more moringas, more fruit trees, more edible things. Um, allowing people to live a more sustainable life and you and your family as well. So um, thank you so much again for watching this video and for caring about the earth and caring about the world. And uh, I love you guys. So until next time, develop awesome skills.